This is the ETVU Sportsnet. I'm Adam P. Ledyard here with head football coach Joshua Ergel. Coach, day one in the books on the field. You still got some meetings this afternoon. Talk about how uh, day one went outside. Yeah, outside it was good, man. We had great, aff- uh, great effort, great attitude out of the young men. You know, uh, everybody's excited the first day. That's the only day you'll ever be fresh the whole fall season, you know. And so they've worked so hard all the way back since last January of really trying to condition their bodies and, and get themselves physically ready to go. And so now we get to actually put on a helmet and go play some football. And so they're so excited to be back in Marshall and be on our campus here uh, at ETBU. And so it was a great first day. A lot of mistakes we got to clean up, but that's to be expected. The first thing you got to show up with is a great attitude and great effort. Talk about some of the uh, athleticism you brought in, the newcomers. You have some uh, East Texas talent, some Louisiana talent, some Texas talent overall. Uh, the newcomers coming in and what you, you saw today in some of those guys. Yeah, we are a great freshman class. Um, our coaching staff has done a phenomenal job of just working extremely hard relentlessly. Uh, we've already started on the next class last May, so we're trying to really ramp up our recruiting schedule just like any other college in America, no matter what the level. And uh, we want our logo and our Tiger Shield to be out there next to anybody in the country. And uh, because of that work, work ethic and that, that hard work those guys have been put in, we're seeing the fruits of that labor. And we're seeing the best of East Texas show up. We're seeing the best of Dallas-Fort Worth area show up. We're seeing the best of Houston. Man, Louisiana was really, really good to us. We went over there and their high school head coaches um, did a phenomenal job of accepting us and, and seeing what we had to offer and liking what we saw, what we had to offer. And, and so it's just been uh, great to have those newcomers show up and, and new faces. And, and uh, there'll be some guys on that roster that everybody recognizes really soon. Talk about this offense that's coming back. you got a, a strong core of players from last year that did very well in the nation, leading in statistical categories, and what that's going to do for this year, them already knowing the offense is coming back for this uh, third year under Scotty Walden in the offense. You bet. You know, going our third year, um, so, so last year we were number two in the country in, in total offense and number one in passing offense. And you bring back uh, your top two running backs who are preseason All-American and Jordan McNeil and Kendall Roberson. You bring back the, the trigger man, Josh Warmington, who was a semifinalist for the Division Three Heisman Trophy Award, the Gagliardi Award. And uh, you bring back um, – a Tyler Bates, every time he catches a pass, he sets an ETV record. Every time he catches a touchdown pass, it's a new ETV record. Um, so you kind of got a four-headed monster out right there that's really, really special. Now what we've got to find and work through is our offensive line. We graduated four seniors that have been here a long time. ETV played a lot of games. And so we got the mainstay. We got Tyler Scott. We moved him from right tackle to left tackle. Uh, we're counting on him being the cornerstone of that offensive line. But we don't. We expect nothing but greatness out of that offense because that's what we've seen the past two years. And uh, if we were number two last year, there's no reason why we shouldn't be number one offensively this year. You have some uh, strong players coming back on defense. What are you doing this year to tweak your defense and use some of the athleticism that you have out there? Yeah, on defense, we're really excited because, uh, you know, playing a bunch of young guys, we've got eight returning starters. Uh, we've got four senior defensive linemen that are going to be in the mix there. They're playing a lot of snaps for us up front. And um, so that can only help us. The experience is only going to help us. And being in an in in award daddy league like the American Southwest Conference, week in, week out, you better be in some battle tested games. And so taking those guys in defensively will do nothing but help us. Um, the first thing we've got to uh, correct there is our intensity and the way we play and chase the football. And we're off to a good start today. Um, I can't wait to get those shoulder pads on practice three because then we're going to see some popping and then I can see how nasty these old boys are. But, um, you know, you couldn't ask for a, great, a better group of guys to coach defensively and get going and wait. They're hungry. Man, they're hungry to be good at them. And uh, we're a team and we're a family here at ETBU. But uh, if there's not a chip on those defensive guys' shoulder, uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know if they're worth their salt. But I go out there today and I see them uh, uh, flying around and, and talking and communicating. There's lots of life out there. And so I see something we can really build on defensive side. Talk about your program overall. You're bringing a Division one esque feeling and atmosphere here. You've hired some coaches that have coached at Division one And uh, what you're doing here with the Tiger Creed and your atmosphere as, as a player and a coach. Yeah, I mean, you know, we just want to be – great in everything we do. I mean, we're pursuing excellence, just like any department on this university. That's what ETB stands for, is greatness. Uh, we believe Christ has called us to be and give our all for everything, because he gave his all for us and his son. And so we're trying to chase that down every day and, and relentlessly pursue excellence. And, um, you know, our coaching staff, uh, the, what we've been able to hire here, and um, their relentless work ethic just bleeds into our football team and our players. Uh, we don't ask those players to do anything that our coaches aren't rolling their sleeves up and do. Now, when you bring a bunch of guys in who have been in a bunch of big programs and seen some Division One flair, whether they played there or coached there, then when I get in a staff meeting and I mention a drill or I mention a, a drill transition or philosophy, I don't have to really exa- uh, um, um, elaborate 
and they'll paint that picture. They know exactly what it looks like. So that makes it that streamlines streamlines the process. And now you got a bunch of guys with, with like minded vision chasing after the same goal. And it's been really really uh, humbling uh, that those guys would join us here and join our vision here. Um, but you know you can't do it without men of character that come in and want to play. You can't do it with guys who want to chase excellence in the classroom and as a team accomplish a 2.75 GPA in the spring overall. And you can't do it without guys who want to win a championship. And that's what we're here, excellence in everything. Talk about the excitement of game day here in Marshall, the community that supports you on campus, student body, taking a walk down Tiger Walk and Tiger Alley into that stadium. I'll tell you what, you know, you know game days here in Marshall are electric. And uh, if anybody out there hadn't experienced a game day here in another stadium, you need to get here. But don't show up at kickoff because you'll miss a lot of good stuff. You need to show up about three hours before kickoff uh, over in Tiger Alley. And our, our team will gather and walk through there. It'll be a packed crowd. Faculty and staff are phenomenal to us in support of our young men. Uh, family and friends and all of East Texas comes out. There's tons of tailgating and food and fun and, and just good fellowship. And uh, the team will walk down Tiger Walk in two hours before kickoff. And then uh, if you get here late, you don't have. There's not a parking space. I mean, we, we fill up half this side of the town. Uh, they're parking everywhere and walking a long way. So just it's it's uh, really humbling. It's really awesome to see uh, this type of support we get from our ETBU community, but East Texas and Marshall in general. All right, coach. Thanks for talking to us here on the ETBU Sportsnet.